Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching. So I'm back again with one of the other festive looks. This is such a beautiful look. It's so easy, so glamorized. Since we know that Indian festivals need a lot of time, so you don't get much of time to glam yourself. So I have created this look which is so beautiful and you can create it in the minimum amount of time. It's so beautiful with perfect amount of gold in your eyes and a perfect subtle lipper and I'm sure you all will like it. So let's not waste time and let's start with the tutorial. I'm going to start from Backlight Priming Filter from Becca. This primer is bomb. It is so amazing. It gives your skin such a luminous glow. I'm going to apply this primer all over my skin. Next, it's time to color correct and I'm going to use this Bobbi Brown color corrector in dark peach using the MAC brush 207. I'm going to apply it wherever I feel that it's little darkness and I need to color correct. So under my eyes, around my nose and around my lips. Now it's time for foundation and I'm using Dior Skin New Dare foundation in 020 using this PAC Beauty Blender PAC. It is worth the price. I ordered them from Amazon. I've got two of these beauty blenders at such an amazing price. I think I just paid 750 bucks for these two beauty blenders. And when you dip it in water, they become really soft. Trust me beauties, this beauty blender is less than half the price of the original beauty blender and it is so amazing. I think every girl must invest in this beauty blender. Now we use the MAC concealer in Select Moisture Cover which is in the shade NC42 and I'm going to apply it wherever I feel I need a little more coverage even after applying my foundation. Now I'm going to blend it with my Beauty Blender. It's time for cream highlighting which is a must in every makeup. So I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand Sable which I really really like. It has a beautiful wand which is great for application and I'm going to apply it on all the high points of my face. Under my eyes, my nose, my forehead, my cupid and my chin. Blend it with a damp beauty blender. Now it's time to set everything and I love Laura Mercier powder. Make sure that I have no wrinkles under my eyes and I'm going to set my under eye area and all the areas where I feel that I'm going to sweat a little, I'm going to apply it on all those areas. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to use this Hello Flawless powder from Benefit. It's in the shade beige and I'm using the Sigma brush F25. Now it's time to contour and I'm going to use this Hoola powder by Benefit using the NARS ETA brush. I'm going to contour the hollows of my cheekbones, my temples, my forehead and yes, my jawline as well. And whatsoever is left on my brush, I'm going to use it on my nose. Now I'm going to apply my blusher and I love this bathed blush in Luminoso by Milani. For this I'm going to use the Sigma brush F15. Mm -hmm. 
It's time for eyes now and I'm using this matte paint pot in soft ochre to prime my eyes using this matte brush in 207. Now on a blending brush, I'm just going to dust the translucent powder all over my eyes so that my eyeshadow comes really well. I'll take this matte eyeshadow in the shade Cork and use this Sigma brush in E40 and I will use it as a transition color in my transition line. Now I'm going to use this color bar all day waterproof eyeshadow stick in ornament 005 and I'm going to apply it all over my lid area. It's such a beautiful color and I'm doing it so that my eyeshadow stick well. And I'm going to use this Real Techniques domed eyeshadow brush to blend this eyeshadow really well. Now comes the made part of eyes and I'm going to use this Inglot AMC 37 number with Sigma brush F70 to apply it all over my lid area and I'm going to dampen my brush with MAC mineralized charred skin hydrating mist and look how beautiful this eyeshadow comes on it's such a beautiful pigment in gold I'm going to use the same brush and the same pigment and apply all this pigment under my eye area as well which is very near to my lash line now I take this MAC eyeshadow mulch using the Sigma brush E45 and I will just use it in the outer corner of my eyes just to give little more depth to my eyes and for this I'm using the Sigma brush which is E45 now I take the Sigma brush F70 and I use the same MAC eyeshadow cork and apply it near my lash line. Now comes the liner and for my liner I'm using this Faces Longwear Eye Pencil in Smog. It is such a beautiful brown and for this I'm going to smudge it really really well along my lash line using the Sigma brush E20. It's time for lashes and I'm going to curl my lashes using the Kevin O'Korn eyelash curler and apply this Maybelline Mega Eyes mascara which is such a beautiful mascara it has two wands one for the upper lashes and one for the lower one right now I'm just applying it in my upper lashes To complete my eye look, I'm going to use the Arden Lashes number 106 using the Geo Fiber Glue. It's a clear glue. Now to intensify the upper lash line, I'm using the Color Bar Liner in the shade Just Black 001. It is a beautiful pencil. Now we come to lower lashes and this time I'm not going to create a bold curl look. I'm going to keep my lower lash line absolutely nude using this concealer pencil from Makeup Studio. Finally, I'm applying the lower lash mascara, the same Maybelline mascara. For brows, I use the Pro Power from IT Cosmetics. I'll apply it all over my brows and work with the spoolie to give it a more defined look. I completely forgot to do my highlight and now for my highlight I'm using this MAC eyeshadow in the shade Nylon using the Sigma pencil brush. Now I'll spray MAC Charge Water Skin Hydrating Mist all over my face just to highlight my face really well. And for this I'm using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. This color is gorgeous and I'm applying it with the brush from Sigma which is F35. It's 
time for lips now and for my lips I'm using the NYX lingerie collection in the shade 04 which is a ruffle trim it's a nice color and I probably feel it's going to look really nice during the day or perfect for night as well And finally, to make my makeup last really long, I'm using the Urban Decay All Night Makeup Setting Spray. I finally accessorize my look and that completes my whole look. So this is the final look right in front of you and I just loved it. I'm sure you all will also like it. In case you like it, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe which is there right on your screen please do subscribe to my channel because yes i'm going to show you a lot more in makeup and beauty stay blessed and i love you all